Okay guys, I see a lot of forums talking about the Dodge 4.7. Can you switch it with a uh, Durango engine or vice versa? Uh, both of them are 4.7s. Most commonly, a lot of engines you can do that too. This one you want to pay attention to the reluctor ring. We're going to go over how to check it and how easy it is to verify it. Um, but first, let me tell you a couple things about this engine if you're doing an engine swap. One is the fan. The fan is going to have to be changed because the Durango is shorter. So if you're using it in a Durango, you're going to hit something. If you're using it in 1500, you're not going to get the cooling process. Not to mention that it will hit the hose, the lower radiator hose. So change the fan. You're going to need to change the power steering pump. Um, I see a lot of people change reservoirs, but to me it's easier to pull the three bolts and just swap the pump if your other one's good. There's an oil pressure switch that is behind this pump next to the oil filter. You're going to need to change it. One is three prong, one is two prong. So just swap it with your other engine. When pulling the engine out, you're going to want to remove the alternator because that's the only way you can get the planum off and it'll come up on a little bit of an angle and out this direction. Um, then you can pull the engine. Now, when you get the engine out and you put those other parts on, you want to verify the reluctor ring. The reluctor ring is going to tell you or tell the ECM when to fire, how to fire, etc. You may still get fuel, you may still get spark, but the engine's not going to start. Or if you do get it started because you sprayed ether or something in there, you have a chance of bending a valve or causing damage to the engine. So here is the 1500 that we took out of the uh, 1500. The one in there now is the Durango engine. So at the front of the engine here, you can see where I have a bolt or a ratchet on the crank. It's because we want to turn it. We've pulled the crank sensor here. Let me shine a light in here. Right there to the left by your bell housing uh, for the transmission under the exhaust or next to the exhaust. You can see in there the teeth. I hope you can see that. The teeth to the um, reluctor ring. That's called teeth tone. Now on the Durango, let me show you this little view real, real quick. On the Durango, you had a 32 teeth. This is the teeth we're looking at. On the... Um, 1500 you had a 16 teeth so sometimes you don't even have to count them you can see the distance in between the rings to determine whether or not but if you do need to count them just make a mark uh, let me turn that light back on make a mark on the reluctor ring itself right there and as you rotate it around count the teeth now you're going to want to turn this super slow maybe have help because this reluctor ring is much larger than the size of the crank itself here where you're turning it so if you're turning this kind of fast, that's really moving back there. I think you understand that. So verify that. The other things that you can do is you can verify the VIN code. I don't care to do that because uh, there were a couple months that Chrysler got that wrong. Or not wrong, but they made the new one. So a lot of people like to go to the eighth digit of the VIN code and use the letter N. It matches with the other N. But there are a couple months where they're different. The other thing is the pin on the ACM. You can check that 32 pin or a 34 pin something like that if they're the same it's probably the same if they're different it's probably different i think that is correct but i don't use that because you're pulling the engine anyway and even if you're not pulling the engine the crank sensor is very simple to get to from underneath the vehicle with the, with the 13 millimeter uh, wrench so pull it out shove a mirror up in there shine a light on it verify it's what you have and uh, that way before you purchase the engine or something you're not having to take it back so I hope this video helps somebody out. Please click like, please click subscribe, click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.